in September of 2017, enforcement by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration of the Construction Industry's new respirable crystalline silica standard is scheduled to begin. According to the agency, this final rule was issued to curb lung cancer, silicosis, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and kidney disease in America's workers by limiting their exposure to respirable crystalline silica. Crystalline silica is a common mineral found in many naturally occurring materials and industrial products. OSHA reports that approximately 2.3 million workers in the U.S. are exposed to respirable crystalline silica in their workplaces. These workers include 2 million in construction who drill, cut, crush, or grind silica-containing materials such as concrete and stone, and 300,000 in general industry operations such as brick manufacturing, foundries, and hydraulic fracturing. Before enforcement of the new rule, OSHA published estimates that more than 840,000 of the 2 million construction workers were likely being exposed to silica levels exceeding the new permissible exposure limit. The new standard reduces the permissible exposure limit for respirable crystalline silica to 50 micrograms per cubic meter of air averaged over an 8-hour shift. The new rule also requires employers to use engineering controls to limit worker exposure, provide respirators when engineering controls cannot adequately limit exposure, limit worker access to high exposure areas, develop a written exposure control plan, offer medical exams to highly exposed workers, train workers on silica risk and how to limit exposures, and keep records of exposures and medical exams. These are just a few things to know about occupational exposure risks to respirable crystalline silica for construction workers. To learn more about this or other industrial hygiene, indoor air quality, building science, environmental, health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.